Hey Taurus, Rising Storm here. So I'm about to do your general love reading um, from now until the end of October. Keep in mind that these are general readings. Take what applies. Feel free to switch storylines however you would like. Alright, so I already shuffled the cards. Uh, my pre The previous video cut me off anyway. But your overall view is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the Justice in reverse. You could be dealing with the Libra, but it doesn't have to be. So right now there's a lack of a new start. And it just seems like something here is just not balanced between the two of you. Or something here is just not justified or wasn't fair. Okay, there's a lack of balance or things not being equal or something not getting off the ground or not being stable between the two of you. At least that's what's overall is telling me. All right, you got the Empress. You could, this could possibly be a third party situation. It doesn't have to, have to be. All right, but you got the Empress in reverse. So it could be done with the Libra or uh, uh, Cancer. It doesn't have to be. But right now, nothing's getting off the ground. There's no growth or expansion. Nothing is growing. Things are kind of just pretty much still right now between you and the person you're dealing with what is this empress in reverse about what is this empress in reverse about and the emperor so I'm, I'm guessing it looks like at some point in time this connection was a strong one all right but it's like right now nothing's getting off the ground there's a lack of growth or expansion or things just um why the emperor here why the emperor here you're trying to be strong so it's kind of like even though you know that nothing's getting off the ground between you and the person that you're dealing with i feel like if you do miss them or you feel left out in the cold by them somebody here is missing but it's kind of like you're trying to maybe take control of the situation even though you know nothing's happening or nothing's growing or there's some sort of gap between the two of you and i do feel like there's on some level maybe you feel left out in the cold by this person or there's this level of you missing them with the five of pentacles there can be done with an Aries or Earth sign. Show me the judgment card. You do have the judgment here. Show me the judgment. What is this judgment card about? I think you're 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 in your head about giving this person a second chance or redoing this whole thing. Show me the judgment, please. Show me the judgment. Like you're over, like you're kind of like in your head about it, about clearing the air or having some sort of new beginning or a new start with this person. <sighs> so it's kind of like a part of you is kind of trying to, it's like you're trying to keep strong or you're trying to be in your own power in regards to the fact that nothing's really happening between the two of you. And it's like you miss them or there's this feeling of feeling left out in the cold. But then again, it's like. You're in your head about giving this a second chance or repeating this again. And it has to do about something about clearing of the air or some sort of new start in communication. But I'm getting you really in your head about this though. Your person has the chariot in reverse to so the three of cups in reverse. What is this chariot in reverse about? Show me the chariot in reverse here. So right now, there's a halt. Nothing's moving forward. What is this cherry in reverse about? They're not even fighting for it. So it's kind of like, even if they do have some sort of feelings for you with that Queen of Cups, it's kind of like they're not fighting for this right now. If anything, they could be like letting this go with that seven of wands in reverse and the cherry in reverse because you got the queen of cups here so i do feel like on some level there is some sort of emotions this person does have for you but at the same time it's like they're not really moving forward there's stagnancy here they're not they're not fighting for the connection it's like they they're letting it go three of cups in reverse they're not even trying to come towards you with some sort of emotional they're not even they're kind of like emotionally detached what is this three of cups in reverse <clears throat> so it's kind of like even though they are separated from you and they're not really invested investing emotionally towards you physically or they're, they're just keeping their distance here it's kind of like they still do want to reconcile though but it's like they're not taking the actions going towards it to make this happen for some reason i say that because you got the three of cups in reverse to the five of swords in reverse here there could have been some sort of ending that happened between the two of you uh, why it's all happening? The Ace of Wands in reverse. What is this Ace of Wands in reverse about? What is this Ace of Wands in reverse about? Somebody turned their back? 
I'm getting a third, it, it's, it could, doesn't always have to be a person, it could be anything. But I'm getting a lack of a new start and somebody here turned their back on a situation. It could be you or them. How does um, Taurus see this person? What can you tell me? How does this energy over here see that energy over there? How does Taurus see this person? The Ace of Swords? Why the Ace of Swords? Why the Ace of Swords? You see this person as someone that you want to clear the air with or have like a new start in communication? What's this Ace of Swords? You're disappointed by this person. <clears throat> so you see them as someone who kind of just disappointed you, right? Um, you see this person who, dis you see this someone who kind of like disappointed you with that five of cups there. There's something here about knowing the truth or the truth being known or you see this person as like you know the truth about them or whatever the case may be in regards to the situation. If that's not the case and you see this person as someone that you want to clear the air with, they hurt you or they did something in, reg in, in regards for you to be in this Five of Cups energy, disappointment, sadness, right? Why is that Five of Cups there? You see this person as someone who's just basically focusing on themselves right now. Someone that you had a falling out with or things are just not stable. Maybe there was just a lot of arguing or drama associated with this person. But clarify the Five of Cups one more time. They disappointed you. Yeah, you see this person as someone who's kind of given up. Someone who's just not really taking any initiatives right now. And it's kind of like you're trying to take, you're trying to be the bigger person or you're trying to step in your power when it comes to this. But it's like you still miss them. What? You're done with the Pisces. How does this person see Virgo? How does this person see Virgo? What can you tell me? How the, wow, some of you could be dealing with the Virgo. That's crazy. Um, Taurus, how does this person see Taurus? Please, what can you tell me? How does this person see Taurus? The Knight of Cups. Why the Knight of Cups for? Why the Knight of Cups? They see you as someone that they want to come in with an offer. Why the Knight of Cups? They watch you. So it's kind of like they see you as someone that they would like to come in with some sort of offer or an emotional offer. But at the same time, it's like they, they choose to... Just watch you or keep tabs on you somehow. And for some of you, they, they see you as you watching them or they know that you're keeping tabs on them somehow, some way. Just take it how it resonates. I don't know. But <clears throat> they see you as someone who um, they want to come in with some sort of offer. But it's like they choose to withdraw or they choose not to come forward. They choose not to really fight for it or put the energy into it. Or even try to reunite with you emotionally, but at the same time, they still, a part of them would like to reconcile with you. What actions will um, Taurus be taking towards this person, if not yet already? What actions will Taurus be taking, if not yet already? King of Wands. Why the King of Wands? Why the King of Wands here? Should be done with the fire sign. Why is that King of Wands? The High Priestess. You're gonna be silent when it comes to this person. I feel like there's an urge for you to wanting to want to reach out, or there are times where you feel the urge to just reach out to this person. But I feel like you're gonna be very silent, or you're gonna choose to be very silent when it comes to them. You may even be trying to use your intuition or listen to your higher self. Could be done with the Virgo. I think maybe you may be watching them or keep or just like you have your eye on them for some of you. But I don't see you taking much action. If anything, there's just silence here. <clears throat> what next actions will this person be taking towards Taurus, please? 
What next actions will this person be taking towards Taurus here? Seven of Pentacles? Why the Seven of Pentacles? Why the Seven of Pentacles like that? I feel like this is someone who's... Their next actions is to... They're going to be waiting. I'm seeing this person wait, or there's this energy of waiting. Why is that Seven of Pentacles there? They're waiting until time what time passes or why is the seven of pentacles there six of swords why the seven of pentacles and the two of pentacles so it, i feel like this is someone who's kind of like they're in this energy of waiting but at the same time kind of like be keeping distance or going back and forth when it comes to you why the knight of pentacles I feel like eventually this is someone who's going to be taking some sort of communication, but it, it feels like it's going to take a while or they're going to be taking some sort of time um, to reach out or do something with that Knight of Pentacles there. Okay, but I feel like in the meantime, this is someone who's going to be waiting or waiting for some time to pass, okay? It's kind of like they're going to be keeping their distance and going back and forth about this, but... I feel like I feel like at some point in time this person is going to be trying to communicate with you. All right. But it's a very slow energy. What are um Taurus's intentions when it comes to this person? What are Taurus's true intentions when it comes to this person? The Knight of Swords in reverse. Why the Knight of Swords in reverse for? Yeah, I don't feel like your your intentions is right. It's like you're trying to focus on yourself. I'm getting I'm getting a, it's a little bit of a, I don't want uh, I guess a little bit of a struggle because I feel like this person's in the back of your mind all the time too. So it's like even though with everything that's going on between the two of you and something even though like you would like to have something stable, it's kind of like I feel like you're just going to be keeping your distance and focusing on you or at least that's the intentions your intentions is not to just rush in and communicate with them at all okay if maybe your intentions is for them to come to you but i see you just kind of just doing you keeping silent and it's kind of like you're bummed out about it or you're sad about how this person did you or whatever the case may be what is this person's intentions? <clears throat> what is this person's intentions with Taurus? What is this person's intentions with Taurus? True intentions here. Six of Wands. Why the Six of Wands? Their intentions is to basically reach out towards you or give you some sort of attention. All right. Or express some sort of emotion or feelings here. What the hell? So their intentions is to eventually reach out or try to... Why is that Six of Wands there? The lovers in reverse. And the Two of Pentacles. This person does a lot of back and forth or they do a lot of... They go back and forth a lot. Why is that Three of Wands there? There could have been another person involved. Or this person could have been juggling. There, There's some sort of going back and forth here. But it's like their intentions is to eventually give you some sort of attention or express some sort of emotions or have things be successful between the two of you. What the hell? <clears throat> Why the Six of Wands there? But at the same time, I don't feel like this is... It's kind of like their intentions is to come towards you with attention or seeking attention. But in reality, it's like they don't put the work in. Or they don't they don't really put that energy and time to invest into this connection. So it's kind of like, yeah, I'm back. You know, I'm going to give you all the attention, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to tell you what you want to hear. But yeah, I'm not going to really put the energy and focus and time into making this work. Uh, what's the possible outcome for, for now until the end of October when it comes to this situation? What can you tell me? What's the possible outcome here for now until the end of October? Queen of Swords, cutting somebody off. 
So I do see the energy of you cutting this person off. Somebody here not taking the shit, but at the same time, it's a, it's, it's hard or it feels heavy or you're weighed down by it with that Ten of Wands there. See you moving on or trying to distance yourself in the meantime. What, why is all this happening? Yeah, because it wasn't built on a solid foundation or a solid ground. Clarify this Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah, I see somebody giving up on this completely. Or just somebody here cutting the bullshit out. Not not doing much. Alright, show me the Ten of Wands. But I do feel along the way it's a burden or it's kind of like on your mind. Why is the Ten of Wands there? You're going to be single, but it's it's a burden. It's like I, feel, like I said. It... You're going to remain single from this person, but it's like, uh, it, it feels heavy. Because this is like continuously on the back of your mind here. What is this Six of Swords? Why the Six of Swords there? Yeah, I do feel like, a, I do. I see a lot of contemplation about this. Okay. I do see, why is that Six of Swords there? It kind of feels like you have to move on. So it's like you're you're making this decision or this change to move on because it's not serving you or it's not giving you that wish fulfillment or that emotional fulfillment here. Okay. With that Six of Swords, it's like you're forced to move on here is what I'm getting. You may even block this person. This person may even block you. So that's what I'm getting. If it resonated, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.